you are the queen of your castle. What? Yes. You don't feel like a queen all the time. Why? Because, well, your subjects, they, they treat you like a slave sometimes. Come boy. Fetch me that picture. Hello and welcome. I'm Danielle with Hogan Life. Thank you for joining me today. I want to talk to you about homemaking. Every time we put in energy and effort and time in our home and in the things that bring a sense of stability to the people in our home, it is a gift. Homemaking really isn't talked a lot about, at least in the manner that it was uh, understood in days past, where the job and the role, rather, of a woman was to make a home that was pleasant to be in for her husband and pleasant to be in for her children. Somehow the world saying that if that is your only role, if that is your only job, it, it somehow demeans you as a woman. Whatever you have taken on as part of your meaningful life as part of your gift to the people around you. Whatever you've taken on that brings joy and substance to someone else's life should never be considered demeaning. Housekeeping and homemaking and homeschooling and laundry and cooking. But I am just thinking about how I can take this role and I can enjoy it more. And in that enjoyment, I am bringing something to my home that is special and that is unique. And if we can shift our perspective thinking that this is a gift I am giving to my husband, this is a gift I am giving to my children every single day, then we can find that same pleasure and joy in these laborious and, and uh, thankless tasks that we have to do repeatedly all the time without having this sense of injustice because, well, we don't get enough help or it, it's just so endless. When I do these tasks, looking at it as I'm giving this gift to my family, it is easier for me to have that mental shift that just says, well, I can find joy in this. So as I just do some simple tasks and clean up our rooms and our space and maybe pay some extra attention to some dusting or, or things that maybe have not gotten as much attention as they should, I'm going about it saying this is a gift. This is a gift with no strings attached that I'm giving to my family. And yes, I might have to do it again tomorrow. And then I will be giving them that gift again. So in this position of power, us women, us moms have this opportunity, oh, it's an opportunity to provide an atmosphere that brings these children stability and consistency and love and joy and laughter. And just the sense that regardless of what is happening in the world or happening around them, they can come home and feel safe. And we are a family unit. I am not the slave of my children, <laughs> the slave of my husband. We work together and, and working together as a family is so, is so beautiful. You know how it is when you have just a draining day with the kids and your hair is like flying everywhere. Maybe you have a rat's nest or maybe that's what I have, but not today. But often, maybe I have a rat's nest and, and maybe I have just food all over myself and I haven't even gotten out of my stretchy pants. True story. But you know, oftentimes your husband, the love of your life, won't see all that other stuff if they see a smile from their wives. All right guys, let's clean up our home. Let's, let's give some extra attention to those places that you actually find pleasure. Like, like your pictures.
our houses are not always going to be clean. In fact, my house is rarely clean for any long period of time. You know, I, I might be able to get a ton done when the kids go to bed and it be nice for that evening. But when they wake up, especially at certain ages, you know, my three-year-old and my 19-month-old, the amount of damage they can do in an hour is, is literally, and I'm not exaggerating this in any way. And if you know, you know, it is literally making messes faster than I could possibly clean. That's just, that's what we got going on right now. And it's okay. Homemaking is so much more than just cleaning, than just cooking. It is the attitude that we do these things in. All right, my friends, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And would you comment and just tell me how it is that you make your home a more inspiring place for your family? How is it that you bless your home on a daily basis? See you next time.